2022 Australian Supercar season marks the end of an era for Walkinshaw Andretti United. Having raced under the Holden badge since 1987, the team switched to Ford next year for the sport's new Gen 3 era. Moving over to Ford is a huge change for us. We've been Holden for 30 odd years and um, obviously being the factory team for such a long period of time, it's, it's obviously quite a dramatic change. Having factory support is really, really critical. There's no team that's won a championship in the last 12 or 15 years in supercars that hasn't had factory backing in some way, shape or form. From our perspective, we want to go and win championships and we want to have a manufacturer that had the same ambitions as us. WAU head towards the new era with a revised driver lineup that sees Chaz Moster joined by longtime rival Nick Perkat, who's returned to the team he first joined in 2010. Growing up, I was just a massive race fan. I was of the, the Holden racing team. I've got photos of being at Bathurst with Dad wearing the blue mobile cap. I was just a tragic HRT fan. So then to progress and get the call up to drive for the Holden racing team was mind blowing. Very interesting when Nick come across this year. We had a few little run-ins along the way there. Um, we we're always in rival teams and the teams probably had bigger rivalry than what we did. So we we're always naturally inspired to dislike each other and want to beat each other. Funny enough, we have so much in common. We get along like a house on fire. That history that he has with this team, returning back to the fold, you want to see success in that. We we're a bit unsure about how those two guys would get along because they've been fighting against each other for quite a long time when they were in karting and so on. It's been really, really pleasant to have him back in the team. He's been a great leader of the team, working really well with the guys, and really excited to go into the back end of this season with him and into next year as well. The Aussie squad enjoyed their greatest success competing as the official Holden Racing Team. And while the iconic Australian manufacturer has bowed out, the team switch to their long-time rivals has caused quite a stir. Going forward's big. It's, uh, I guess it was probably a bigger shock for my dad and <laughs> my granddad who I haven't actually, actually spoken to yet because I'm just giving a bit of time before I give him a ring. But yep. massive Holden family, generations of Perkett name have worked at the Elizabeth plant building Holden road cars. So it's a pretty big deal personally. On the flip side, what we think is going to win races is the direction we went. So aligning ourselves to Ford, being a factory team again is hugely important. Having that blue oval on the car as a factory supported team is amazing. The history of the Walkinshaw HRT era is so enormous and so much to think about what this team has achieved. We always try to balance it, we always try to draw on our experience of that history, but also be level-minded too that we still are a new team going into the future. While Nick Perkat seeks his first win of the year, Chaz Mostert is ending the Holden era in style. And Chaz Mostert takes his fourth victory of 22! With race engineer Adam Debore, he's hoping for more success and a repeat of last year's victory in the Bathurst 1000. This year has been a little bit up and down, a bit inconsistent, but as we keep pushing to be the best, sometimes you overstep the mark, and we have done that a few occasions this year. Now that we've got a better understanding, a better grasp on our platform, the target for the rest of the year is just going to be wins and podiums. I'm very excited about coming into next year, seeing how Gen 3 unfolds, but uh, also respectful that this year we still have a job to do, finishing off this year as strong as we can. By the end of Bathurst, at the end of the year, we really want to try and go back to back and send Holden off in the right way that it needs to be in this sport, because obviously it's got an amazing history in it. Gen 3 Camaros and Mustangs will pack the grid next year, but the team's target is to give their Holden Commodores a fitting farewell. We had ambitions to try and push the team championship this year. We've not been able to deliver Nick the car that's been able to get him to the same sort of results as Chaz, which has been also been frustrating. But back end of the year, it's really trying to make sure we get as many points as possible for both cars, and then always there's Bathurst. We know that if we get everyone uh, singing on the same hing sheet of Bathurst, it can be pretty much unstoppable.